Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I got the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Motorola Edge. And what I want to discuss in this particular video and comparing these phones is how they unlock and how they compare in that category. And what I mean is how do we get into the phone from the lock screen? Okay, so both of these phones... Um, we know the Note 20 here retails for about 999 bucks, and the Motorola Edge typically 699 is the retail price. Uh, but both of these phones have been on sale. Uh, they both, I think, can be had for less than the full retail prices. Um, and I want us to keep that in mind as we're considering this particular category because. Um, you know, I think what we're going to see here is it's kind of interesting in light of the price is what our actual performance here is. And I got to say off the top here, um, I think that Samsung's unlocking capabilities is one of the things that Samsung really needs to work on, especially for the amount of money they charge for their high-end phones. Um, you know, this is Note 20 here. I would expect superb unlocking capabilities. Um, and we do have two options here actually on both of these phones. What we see here on both of them is an in-display fingerprint sensor, right? And then they both use their front-facing cameras for the face unlock. So they're pretty equal in what they offer as far as unlocking the two primary methods here. Um, but generally speaking, on my Note 20 here, I keep the fingerprint sensor turned off. Um, I find that it misses more than I'm comfortable with relying on it on a daily basis. And that's unfortunate, especially considering the $1,000 price tag of this phone. Um, so if we look at it here, okay... There it worked really good. Let's try again. Worked good. Let's try again. Good. Let's try again. Miss. Got it. Okay, so it's doing good today. I did get a software update on this phone. Maybe they've improved that. Um, but I'll try it again. But generally speaking, I've not had as good a luck as I would prefer with it, okay? But it is here, you know, obviously Samsung does a lot of software updates, so maybe it's getting better. Um, I will have to try this out more. Um, but here on the Motorola Edge, okay, it's in display fingerprint reader has been superb, okay? It's just been rock solid. Okay, 100% of the time, no matter how I go at this, I get it. Okay, I just love, love, love Motorola's fingerprint reader here. I would say the Samsung, when it works, is maybe slightly faster, just ever so slightly. Um, I definitely like Motorola's setup here. I prefer it. And that's kind of what I'm getting at, is this phone is significantly less money, so I'm not sure why this one has always worked rock solidly, and this one, for me at least, has been not as good. I don't know why that is. But let's go ahead and switch gears here and talk about face unlock, because that's primarily what I use here on the Galaxy Note 20. And let me see if I can demonstrate it, so... I'm not looking at it. See, it works really good. Okay, it's it's really reliable. It's not the fastest I've ever seen, but it does work. It is reliable. It's reliable enough that I can depend on it on a daily basis. Okay, so definitely like that. And I do like that Samsung allows us to get straight into the phone, as does Motorola and looking at the, the face unlock. Now you can set it where you swipe up 
to get in once it unlocks. If that's what you prefer, like an iPhone, you can set this up like that. Let's check out Motorola here. Okay, let's go over to this side. Okay, as you can see there. Speed-wise, seems to be about the same as the Samsung. Okay, and it's really reliable too for face unlock. Okay, it looks like I have to hold the phone maybe a touch closer to my face uh, than the Samsung, but it's really reliable, really good. Um, never have had a problem with the Motorola Edge here. Um, you know, I do occasionally get a couple misses here or a little hiccup and speed on the Note 20 on the face unlock. I really don't see that here on the Motorola Edge. I, I got to just tell you guys, like, what my experience has been. I know it, it doesn't make sense. You would think that the Samsung... You know, being a thousand dollars versus seven hundred dollars, you would think, oh, certainly it's got better biometrics on it. But that's just not been my experience, guys. I mean, both are good face unlock. I would say I would definitely prefer the Motorola by an edge, no pun intended, on the face unlock here, but definitely, definitely on the fingerprint reader here. Okay, so. Let's go into the settings on both. Oh, well, I don't have that thumb. Okay, let's see, because I just activated that, because normally I have it turned on, uh, or off, I mean. Um, so if we go in here, uh, biometrics preferences, I did turn off the transition effect to try to speed things up. Um, you can kind of see different stuff here uh, let's go into face recognition okay this is what you got you can stay on lock screen like I was saying I do the faster recognition I do not require my eyes to be open that's all in an attempt to try to speed the phone up it's decent guys it's not the best I've seen so you can pause that and look at it if you really want a good look there. Let's look at Motorola here. Okay. See what they bring to the table. Security. Fingerprint. Okay, pretty basic there and that. You do have your animation. Now, they do have different animations, and I definitely like that. As I think the Samsung does, too, I think. Um, so that's good. Uh, face unlock. Let's see. Okay, you can have it stay on the lock screen, lift to unlock. You might want to turn that off because it might unlock your phone when you don't want it to. Uh, I leave it on. I just like to get into my phone fast, but you can see what's going on here, guys. I mean, let's see if I'm sure they've got, I don't have that one, but uh, let's see if they have where would I find that? Um, actually here, guys, back in the settings, it don't look like you can change the animations because it just says show icon when screen is off. So it's just the icon, I guess. I don't, I guess you can't do any animation. I keep forgetting I don't got that. Okay, so, you know. Um, guess you can't, but whatever. Um, definitely prefer the Motorola Edge here, guys. I know that that doesn't seem logical that the Samsung should be better, but I just got to tell you what my experience has been. Um, the nice thing about 
Samsung especially here is they do a lot of software updates. So if something needs improvement, there's always ways for Samsung to hopefully work that in. Motorola, I have not got near the amount of updates. So something to keep in, in mind there. But I'm, I'm definitely going to check the Samsung out again on the fingerprint reader because it seems to be working pretty good at least in this video. Maybe they've done something since I last tried to really use it. Um, so I'm going to uh, try that but um, I've never had a problem with the Motorola. Let's just put it that way. So guys, those are my thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 versus the Motorola Edge unlocking comparison. As always, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And then, of course, hitting that thumbs up button helps as well, guys. But for now, peace out.